हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लेसन थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस सो टेल मी विच आर द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस एयर वाटर सॉइल मिनरल्स दिस आर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी सो इन दिस ईयर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एयर Now air is around us and it is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture means we cannot see different gases which are present in air. It is a homogeneous mixture. You cannot identify just by looking. But there are various gases present in air. Like you have oxygen, water vapors, carbon dioxide. can you see here there are two balloons tied on the string and they are at balance the balloons are not filled with air but if we tie a balloon which is filled with air or you can call it as inflated balloon then what happens let's see okay if you observe now one balloon is inflated so what ha happens exactly the air has some weight that is why the balloon which is blown is towards downward direction that means air is a mixture of gas and like other matter it also has mass and weight so this is first property air has mass and weight let us do another activity with the help of syringe do not take needle just simply take a syringe so if i try to pull this piston i can easily pull this piston okay if i cover the hole and if i try to push the piston or before covering the hole i will just push the piston it goes back and while pulling out the piston i need to apply more force if i cover this tip with finger and if i try to close it okay you will observe that the piston again slightly comes back i don't have to apply force it automatically comes out so what does this experiment tells you when the air inside which is present in the syringe if i cover it with finger the air gets rarefied it gets compressed okay because of which the air then creates a pressure so if air touches any object the object is pushed the object is pushed behind okay now likewise in our air which is surrounding us creates some pressure if you are standing if you are standing okay if you are standing straight in your body blood is continuously circulating that means there is a pressure in your body and this pressure is balanced because of atmospheric pressure that means if a person is standing there is a pressure inside the person and there is pressure also from outer side which is created by air in a surrounding if there won't be air pressure what will happen since there is pressure inside the body if this is a person if there is a pressure inside the body the person will blast why because there is pressure inside and this pressure is balanced because of atmospheric pressure which is outside the body 
and we can stand straight we can walk we can run around so our body is stable because there is atmospheric pressure so if person is uh, moving on high altitude like mountaineering so in that case sometimes the air pressure becomes low and if body pressure is very high then the person starts bleeding from nose or through ears that means the blood comes out because of pressure and the pressure is not balanced by the atmospheric pressure at higher altitude the atmospheric pressure is very low so what is atmospheric pressure the molecules of gases in the air are in constant motion when this motion strikes a body they create pressure on that body this is the pressure of air that we call atmospheric pressure so you need to revise this definition atmospheric pressure it is given in your textbook if we try this experiment by keeping syringe in upward direction or in horizontal direction the atmospheric pressure will be same in all the direction it will be same in all the direction so this is another property atmospheric pressure is same in all the direction to study about atmospheric pressure we need few apparatus like this is a cardboard which is square in shape then you need a glass empty glass and you need water so what you have to do is just to check the atmospheric pressure whether it is from all the direction so we are going to conduct with this experiment first fill the glass with water you completely fill it up to its brim up to its brim then cover it with the cardboard now to check whether atmospheric pressure is in all the direction what i am going to do is i will make the cup upside down and if i leave the hand on the cardboard the cardboard will not fall why because there will be atmospheric pressure so this is experiment which is given in your textbook it is just for fun but it is actually uh, explaining about atmospheric pressure so let us try i will flip this glass just hold it for some time i will slowly remove my finger so from this experiment it will explain you that atmospheric pressure is in all the direction i have removed my hand there is nothing over here atmospheric pressure is also acting from downward direction because of which the cardboard has not fallen down I hope from this experiment it is clear to you that atmospheric pressure is acting in all the direction. So this experiment explains about now uh, also there is a question how can we check the pressure so to check the pressure there is a equipment used which is called as barometer is called as barometer okay that's all thank you